We can't pay today because we're going to get in the car and take a drive. So this is our little yard. It's super cute. We have a grassy patch and we have a tree that they climb and play in. So it's March 23rd. We're still at Tucson Lazy Days KOA, which is really nice. And um, it's a great campground and there's a ton of amenities. My point is we've, we've felt really comfortable here during kind of like the changes that have been going on recently. We're starting to feel less comfortable because we've really taken social distancing very seriously for the past couple of weeks. I haven't come into contact with anyone, even though we're right next door to people. It doesn't always jive with the people that are walking by, walking their dogs and stuff. Sometimes I have to say, hey, we're social distancing. And a side note to everything I just explained about how we're feeling a little more uncomfortable being at the KOA is that the majority of people here, it seems like, are retirees. I don't feel good having three kids and, you know, us being in our early 40s here in the middle of a lot of more sensitive people. I want to get out of here, even though it's nice and we're comfortable and I love our little yard. I, I want to get out of here and just completely isolate for a couple of months. I might be overreacting. I hope I am overreacting. I hope you guys are probably watching this two months later. So you'll be able to <laughs> tell me in the comments, you might, you might be laughing at me or you might be saying, oh, good for her. I don't know. I, I just really can't predict. But at this point, I just, I would rather be safe than sorry. So we're, we're getting ready now. We're off to go see a rental and we'll go hunger down for the next few months. I'm just walking through the site one more time before we leave. Something we always do, make sure we didn't leave any toys or anything. Yesterday, we secured a temporary rental in the outskirts of Tucson. It's about a half hour drive from where we are now. So I'm feeling a lot of relief. It's a house and uh, it has a walled in backyard which is also awesome. And supposedly we can park our RV out front or on the side. We really enjoyed our spot at this KOA and it's been a nice place to be for the beginning of this uh, pandemic, but we're really looking forward to getting somewhere where we can be completely alone and isolated and have our own space. We imagine we'll be there for at least two months. Part of me is nervous to leave. We're really comfortable here, but on the other hand, we just don't know what's coming and I, also am feeling the need to get somewhere to really hunker down. I feel very, very fortunate that we're able to do that. I know that a lot of full-time RV families are feeling insecure and scared and uh, some are even kind of displaced because their reservations are being canceled and all that. I feel like we can breathe a sigh of relief right now because we have a rental for the next few months. Uh, but my, my, my anxiety is still like really high. So also trying to just like stay cool for the sake of the kids because they really pay attention and they 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 see our our nervous energy and our stress and they feed off it so one day at a time okay we're just about all packed up we're gonna go in tandem together and i'm gonna stop by the mail room to get our packages so i got my gloves on just to be super safe our van's kind of like a storage bin for our backup food not very organized but we'll have plenty of time to organize once we're at the house bye bye lazy days campground we'll be back soon Hopefully we'll be back soon. Okay, here we are at our rental house. You wanna show me your room, guys? Yeah. Where's your room? Linden and Maple's room. You want a cantaloupe? Okay, first let's change your diaper. Well, I just cooked a meal in a real big kitchen for the first time in a really long time. And it feels very luxurious. Our first night was a success. The girls were so tired that they both just passed out in their new little twin beds. It was really cute. And they stayed in here all night. They did really good. I was a little bit worried because they're used to being right next to us in the Airstream, but they were brave and they liked their new room and that worked out really well. perfect look it's like golden perfect when we decided it was time to leave the KOA we talked about two different options one would be going off in the middle of nowhere and boondocking for a while and the other would be finding a short-term rental house we weighed the pros and cons and the house won out I like the idea of being completely self-sufficient within our house and not having to worry about going out to get fresh water or going out to do laundry and those are two things that we we would have to do, we would have to break camp if we were boondocking in the middle of nowhere. 
We decided to rent a house because we figured we might as well be as comfortable as possible since we didn't know how long we would be self-isolating. So if we're not gonna stay in the RV, we wanted to figure out where would make the most sense for us to hunker down and stay at home. With kids this age, it just made more sense to find a house with a little more room so we could stretch our feet and have laundry and water and all those kinds of things to make this waiting period as comfortable as it could be for us. So far, so good. This house is, is serving us really well. Hi guys, what are you up to? Eating pancakes. Are they delicious? Yeah. Cheese. Cheese. Um, turns out the backyard is bigger than we need and it's kind of unfinished so I, I gated off half of it because it's mostly just loose dirt over there and if they're allowed to just play in the loose dirt it'll be like a you know a mud show inside and there's this awesome built-in stone table here that Olive's clip on high chair is gonna fit we got our camping chairs we got our mat to cover the loose dirt here we got a basketball court I'm gonna be able to do exercises out here it's all walled in this is gonna work out this is gonna be a good place to be quarantined what's going on in here what is this place um it's an RV oh this is your RV yeah you like it I love it what happens in the RV Bows. we travel all over the place but we don't, we don't, we don't have a van. We have a wheel in our Airstream. I can drive it. We don't have a van. Oh, the, the Airstream has its own wheel? Yeah, and it's the same as yours, but it doesn't have a van. It's kind of the same as yours, but it's not that same. Interesting. So, what are okay. you going to do in this RV? Like, travel all over the place. Where are you going to go? Um, somewhere, but we'll buy new things. You're buying new things? Like what? Blankets and towels and snacks. To fill up your RV. Yeah. And then once you buy all the stuff, what are you gonna do? We're gonna travel all over the place. I have a broken leg. You have a broken leg over there. Oh no! What happened to your leg? It bumped. What are you up to, Maple? It bumped. You're the queen of your own castle over here. Is this your RV? Yeah. Are you gonna go to California? Yeah. Are you gonna go to Florida? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want to go first? The stars at night. Florida. Florida? Okay. So the Airstream has been parked on the side of our rental. So it's been really convenient. We can just go out the backyard and go into the Airstream anytime we want. Yesterday, however, Michael went down to the Airstream and there was a note on it. And it was from a neighbor, but he said that there's a local rule that you can only have your RV or trailer parked in this neighborhood for 72 hours while you're loading or unloading. He also said that if we didn't move it by today, he was going to call the authorities. So it's kind of a sad day. I'm in here right now and I'm cleaning. The idea was that I'll get it all spick and span so it'll be ready to go. We can just go pick it up from storage, get in and hit the road again. I think we're having to kind of be faced with the reality of, of what's going on and the truth is it's not the time to be RVing around America. So yeah, I feel I feel sad being in here right now. I, <laughs> This has been our home for six months and I love it in here. Everything that's going on right now is it, it's really making me just so grateful that we did this when we did. Imagine if we waited another six months before we bought an RV. So I'm just so grateful that I said yes to him and that I decided to take a leap of faith and buy this awesome Airstream and get on the road with him. We got six months of an amazing adventure out of it. And hopefully there's more to come. But if we're being realistic, that's not gonna happen for a little while. So we have to move on. And moving on for us right now means putting the RV in storage. So I found a place that I feel comfortable with and I'm okay leaving it there for an indefinite amount of time right now. What's on my mind now is I wanna clean it. I want it, I wanna get it all nice and maybe I'm stress cleaning. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of cleaning of this Airstream. It's probably the cleanest Airstream in the world. <laughs> So the kids are napping, Michael's working, listening for them while I'm out here cleaning. And once I finish, he's gonna go take it and drop it off in storage. And...
This could be the last time for a while that I'm sitting in here. It feels kind of weird and kind of sad. I'm definitely gonna miss it. Just even though all our stuff's out of it, as soon as I walked in just now, it, it felt like coming home. I was hoping we could keep it parked on the side of our rental, but things change and lots of things have just changed lately suddenly. So I'm getting used to rolling with the punches. Hi, Papa. You gonna miss our Airstream? I'm gonna miss it. Me too. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss you, Airstream. Here's some of our stuff we brought in. Now we get to just reorganize and reevaluate all of our possessions. We can further downsize and minimalize our life, which is nice. This is so sad. Saying goodbye to the Airstream. For a little while, at least. My friend Jennifer is a Zumba teacher, so she posted a Zumba workout on YouTube, and the four of us girls have been doing Zumba in the afternoons. Are you guys happy to be outside now? Yes! How long did you wait? So long. It's almost a backwards L. We have to wait a little bit longer, three more minutes. They have to wait till 9 a.m. before they can play outside because they're pretty loud. And we're thinking about our neighbor's feelings, right? Yeah. What is it? This, upside down. A backwards L? Yeah. Backwards L means outside time. <laughs> Our first week in the rental house has been really great on the one hand, but it's also been a roller coaster. Lyndon said, what? She thinks I'm talking about an actual roller coaster. So we're just kind of getting acclimated to our new space and we're figuring out our new routine. I'm learning what my new job is and my new job seems to be made up of two main things. One, just entertaining the kids. And I do that by pretty much breaking up every day by the hour. An hour outside, an hour inside, an hour outside, an hour inside. And I try to switch up activities in each location. And I love nap time, because nap time's my break. I don't like nap time. And the other main part of my job is just making sure no one gets hurt. That's on my mind because obviously we don't want to go to the doctor or urgent care or a hospital. I'm no! just trying to make sure no one gets hurt. And that's actually a big job around here, especially with Olive. She's constantly climbing on things and jumping on things like the couch, just things that are benign household objects. She figures out a way to almost get hurt. Like there's a rocking chair here. And it, the first day we were here, she got stuck in it three times. I had to put it outside for a while until it wasn't that exciting for her anymore because it was just a hazard. Olive, you're not allowed to be on the table. We're trying to stay off the high surfaces. Can you climb down? What do you guys think about our new house? Good. Do you like being here? Yeah. Can you tell me one thing you really like? Um, having food. Having food, that's a really good thing. What about you, Maple? What's your favorite thing? My favorite thing is a monkey. Oh, a monkey. Okay. Hey, Landon. Hi. Hi. Do you want to help me make the pool? Yeah. What steps do we do? Instructions. Instructions? Do you know how to use instructions? Yeah, I'm gonna look at it. First you fill it up, and then put the tapple, and then take a picture of it, and then put some glue in there. Oh, sounds like a great idea. Yeah. We inflated the pool, then we inflated the lid. Yeah, we inflated it, then we filled it up. Now we have to stick that robot onto the hot tub. You ready? Yeah. So cool. Okay, are you pushing? Yes. Push. Yes. Push harder. Uh. It worked. It worked. You wanna see? Yeah. Come check it out. Look, it worked. Yeah. Okay, now that we built the robot, from now on, this is only Papa gonna touch this stuff, okay? 
Don't be sad. Hey, what's my job? Protect me. Yeah. What number is that? Um, seven. Yeah. Okay, so now it says the arrow goes that way. So, and to spin it. Where do you think we can find two filters? How do you know those were filters? <laughs> That's for putting chemicals in. Okay. That's chemicals are gonna help us keep the pool water so it doesn't get stinky. It will help keep the cool water clean. This is just a box for a filter, a case. See, that's the filter. Isn't it beautiful? What's beautiful? The filter? What does it look like? It looks like a box of paper. Special delivery. Thanks. Thank you. Here. Yep, it goes on the bottom one. Filter number two. Thank you. Three, two, one, fill it. How long do you think it'll take to fill? Uh, three hours. Three hours? That sounds about right. Oh, I know what will help make it fill up faster. What? If we sing a special song. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. You knew what song? So let's go eat dinner and then it'll be ready. What happened? It reached the line. We can go in the pool. Let's get our baby seats right. Well, guess what, Lyndon? What? The water's really cold. I don't mind. No, this is a pool. That's not a hot tub. <laughs> what are you doing, Olive? Are you watching Elmo while I cook dinner? I'd say we're getting pretty comfortable here. Mom! Wow. We have a hot tub in our yard. Mm -hmm.